somebody is concerned about my presence. Your presence too. So hey guys, good morning. Welcome to, oh, you see right here. There's a trail right there. Yeah, aren't we? Very busy morning for the deer. So good morning, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I know a lot of you guys like to see morning routine chores and stuff. I try to show clips of all kinds of things that I do every day, two to three times a day. I think sometimes it gets a little repetitive and well, I'll be honest with you, carrying around my phone in mud, sometimes, no offense, I just like to get my job done. So I'm a hot mess, which leads me to this video, which leads me to this conversation. And I want you to take a lot of pride if you identify with this with me, okay? We're finding out really hardcore, fast and furiously, all the things that are being done to us. It's wide open, you know it, I know it, they know it, we see it, what are we gonna do about it? All that type of stuff. And you have to decide who are you in this whole scheme, in this whole life, in this whole thing that we're going through. We've talked about this many times. You are here for a reason. Your ancestors did what they did and went through what they went through to get you here. And now you're here. You are here for a reason. God has you here for a reason. God has me here for a reason. But it's very frustrating on some days because we want so bad to wake people up continually. And while I do think that people are waking up, my concern is, is that for some people, not all, so I don't want it to be discouraging, but it may be too late to a degree for some things for people. I mean, let's just be honest here. But here is where the rubber meets the road. You have to decide if it's too late for you. And if you say, heck to the no, then you need to take on the title that I am most honored to wear now, <laughs> which is being a scrapper. That's right. Scrapper, I'm scrappy. <laughs> of all the things that I've ever been called in all of my life, you know, compliments are great. We all love to be comp complimented, especially if we've really worked hard on something and somebody recognizes it. That's human nature, right? You know, we like to be called pretty. We like to be told we can sing good. We like to be told we're a good mom. We like to be told that we're Proverbs 31. All, the, all these things, yeah, 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 I totally agree. And sometimes we're called things that, well, aren't very nice either, right? Yeah. But yesterday, the story is I was talking to a woman who's going through, some, through a situation. And in the conversation, she told me, she said, her daughter's like 15 years old, right? And she said, well, don't worry. She said, you know, we were talking about this and so-and-so and -so, uh, said to me, mom, I'm not worried about it. Because if things get bad enough, we'll just call Patera. Because she's a scrapper. And she will help us see through all of this. Because she's a scrapper. <laughs> I want you to know, right now, of all the things that I've ever, in my entire life, as far as being, you know, told I'm something in terms of on a human level. I mean, being told you're a good Christian is obviously the, or, you know, you, 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 we try, right? And that's the ultimate. But next to that... For a, basically a 15-year-old teenager in this day and age to recognize that trait in anybody um, and to recognize, I'll, I'll, I'll take this little bit of credit, that I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard. I know you guys are too. I'm trying so, so hard. I'm trying so hard here. I'm trying so hard for God. I'm trying so hard for my family. I'm trying so hard for my husband. I'm trying so hard to wake people up. I'm trying so hard to plant food. I'm try We're trying so hard. And I'm trying so hard to continue to wake people up. Can you hear that in the background? That is the third set of sirens I've heard today already. Things are going on, folks. There's no denying it. It's happening in the cities. It's happening in the country. It's happening in some of the freest states in the land. And if somebody is not awake by now, and if somebody is not willing to be a scrapper by now, I'm just not sure how much hope there is for them. I hold out on that hope 
And I tell you and I encourage you to continue to talk. I continue to absolutely blast what is going on. Because at some point when push comes to shove for these people who are choosing, they're choosing, they're choosing at this point to be in denial. They're not, they're, they, this whole idea of nobody knows of anything at all going on. Um, I don't believe that anymore. They are choosing to remain blinded by everything evil because, well, they're either scared, which is understandable. They don't have confidence. Maybe they realize that they're going to have to work their behinds off. They're going to have to be a scrapper. They're going to have to understand that they're giving up a lot of things in order to make it. But I am going to say to you right now, of all the people that are going to see this trial and tribulation through, no matter how dark and how deep it gets, setting aside the whole idea of those that have certain beliefs in certain faiths, okay? Go with me here. It's going to be the scrappers. It's not going to be the people with money. I mean, obviously, if they have endless funds and money that they can prepare and have people do all of these things for them, well, obviously, that's a different set of people, and that's so few and far between that it's not even worth talking about because I would be willing to bet that that does not affect me or you, frankly, in terms of what we need to do and what we need to do for ourselves and what we need to do for our families. You know, I'm so, I got so tickled when I got that, when she told me that yesterday, because the other day, I had a woman, and I really think she was trying to be nice, but it really kind of wasn't. <laughs> she told me that she loved watching my older videos, and she was just amazed at how much I've aged. Well, my older videos are eight or nine years ago, and I was in my mid to late 30s, and no, I didn't have any gray hair then. Ma'am, I'm going on 47 years old now. Yeah, I've got some wrinkles, cancer scars, a lot of gray hair coming on. I think a lot of us do at this point. But you know what? I'm fighting harder today than I've ever fought in my entire life. And I thank God every single day that he is giving me the opportunity to be here at going on 47 years old. And I can jump fences and I can milk cows and I can get mud all over me and look like something out of a war movie. <laughs> because that's an opportunity that a lot of people that I know never got the chance to live to see for many different reasons. So yes, I'm aging in front of you and I will continue to age in front of you because we all are aging. We should be proud of that. But here's what I'm saying. If you're a scrapper, you know, Appalachian people tend to be Scrappers? I think that's, I, I, somebody might think that's a negative connotation. I really don't. I think it is a, the ultimate compliment because if I come to the table, if I come outside, if I do anything, I want every, I want to know that I've tried my best and I'm going to fight like heck. I'm going to fight for what I believe in. I'm going to fight for my family. I'm going to fight for God. I'm going to, I'm going to fight. I'm peaceful in terms of how I go about my day. But when push comes to shove, I'm absolutely going to fight. And you have to decide who you're going to be. Do you know that I absolutely do know people that are in such denial? You're going to gasp when you hear this, okay? So just, maybe you won't. Maybe it won't shock you. And I'm sweating horribly, guys. I'm sorry. I contacted somebody a week ago, a week and a half ago, whenever it happened, all that stuff. with first, Remember I made a video in a live stream talking about First Horizons? You know, that's a bank here. Uh, it's affected a lot of people here in t Tennessee, East Tennessee. And I know people that have their money in that bank. And with all the things that we're seeing, what happened with them, do you know that they still don't believe that anything is happening to their bank, even though they can actually Google, look up endless videos, they can turn on Fox News if they watch Fox News, for heaven's sake, or CNN, or whatever crap they watch. And they can see well, what all has been happening with their bank. And they didn't believe it. They didn't pull any of their money. They didn't change banks. They haven't done anything. In fact, this person has actually said that they called the, I called the bank and they told me nothing was wrong. Nothing was going on. They believed them. This person is choosing to live in this denial. 
Does that make sense? I mean, this is what I'm saying. When you can actively turn on the TV, even though we know it's a bunch of malarkey with how the rhetoric is being fed to us, we can see things are going on. Now, where your mind goes in terms of what's real, what isn't, um, how things have been manipulated, that's a different story too. But just go along with me here. They say they don't believe anything's going on. Out of all the things, everything that we've seen in the last three years and three months, everything, not even anything prior to that, just in the last three years of life, they still don't believe anything is going on. And they're going to go to the beach. And they're going to ignore. They're going to spend money. They're not going to buy peanut butter. They're not going to take care of business. These people that you know and I know are not scrappers. And regardless of how good you think their life is right now or how good of a image they're trying to put on for everybody. When push comes to shove, all of these things aren't going to matter. It's going to be whether or not you're a scrapper. So are you a scrapper? Are you willing to fight? The men that fought for this country through the generations and made it, regardless of what type of background they came from, I'm telling you, they were scrappers. And they, were, they, they fought it to the bitter end. And you have to decide, is that the legacy that you're going to be? This is the legacy that I'm going to leave for my children. I want to be known for being a Christian. I want to be known for being a very loyal and good wife and a good mother. I mean, I'm sure there's some days my teenagers might be a little mad at me, but, you know, mean mom here, you know. But, uh... When it all goes down and I'm, I'm gone and my tombstone in the shape of an arrowhead, that is my only request. If you put scrapper across it, I won't be offended at all. In fact, I'm pretty proud of that title. So who are you going to be? You need to pray for these people. I'm going to be harsh. I've said this before. They're not going to make it. If they can't psychologically handle and deal with the things that are seeing, that they are seeing and hearing and knowing that are going on right now, and they have zero inkling, even though they have the time and the funds to prepare in, in, in any way, shape, or form they can, when they actively refuse to take on this role to, to, to be a scrapper for their children, and for their family, and for their parents, and for their husband and wives, or whatever. It's not going to be good. What do we do? Like I said, we continue to talk. We continue to speak. But we can't become fixated on it, because like I said, and I've said many, many times, they're going to wake up on their own terms. And the day that you wake up, the day that you truly wake up and you look around and you realize the scenario that you individually are in and you're, you haven't done anything at all about it, it's the scariest day. So I pray for those people in that moment because it's coming for them. They probably, many of them may know that and that's what they're pushing off, just keeping their fingers crossed not what the scrapper does we fight from the beginning and we don't stop no matter how humble no matter how wrinkled no matter how gray no matter how dirty we may be we're gonna fight like subscribe and share I'm gonna have some scrappy videos coming up for you <laughs> we'll see you on the next video